In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the thisArg, which is an optional argument of many array methods, including the ones shown here. This video was inspired by a blog post by Hamanth, which is available at the URL shown here. In the post, Hamanth demonstrates how to call the for each method of the keys array of an object without using the thisArg. Here's the object, which is assigned to a variable named Jedi. The object has three properties, name, height, and mass. And here, we loop through the object's keys using the for each loop. In our callback function, we just log the value of each key. Notice that we refer to the object by its variable name, Jedi. Let's take a look at the value of the this object in the callback function as it is now written. As you can see, this is undefined. Now let's pass Jedi in as the second argument of the for each method and run it again. As you can see, when we log this to the console, we now get the Jedi object. That's what the second argument does. It assigns a value for the this object. So now we can log the keys by referencing the this argument like so. As Hamanth points out, we could use function's bind method to bind an object to it. The object we bind to it will then become the this object for that function. But he links to a performance test which shows that that isn't as efficient as passing in a value for this arg. So it's better to use the this arg. And that's all there is to it. I hope you now understand how the thisarg works. Thanks again to Heyman for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other JavaScript articles.